Before I get into this video, if you're new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the video. <laughs> homeschooler we're gonna be cooking something up in my cafeteria that I have never tried before so this is the first video of Rhea react so I found this at Walmart and I was like okay apple flour never heard of it in my bugs bunny voice yeah it was dumb anyway so I'm gonna be following the recipe on the back of the bag for apple flour pancakes so um there are some ingredients that are not vegan so we're going to be veganizing this recipe so we're going to need a cup and a half of this flour we're going to be needing three and a half te uh, teaspoons of baking powder we're going to be needing one teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of white sugar but i use organic sugar this came from bj's um uh one and a fourth cups of milk and we're gonna we're gonna need an egg so we're gonna be doing a flax egg and three tablespoons of melted butter and i'm going to be substituting grapeseed oil for the butter okay so let's get started with this and see how this is going to turn out so first things first when you're using an egg substitute you want to do that first so one tablespoon of ground flaxseed plus three tablespoons of water equal one egg. So what we're gonna do is make that first. So we got one tablespoon of flat uh, flax ground flaxseed. I'm gonna put that in there. And okay, give me a sec to get me some bottled water. I forgot that. Okay. All right. So we're going to be doing three tablespoons of this. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to stir that up. And then we're just going to let it sit until I get all of the other ingredients. Okay. What's this? Okay. So we are going to start out with this flour. As you can see, the flour itself is vegan. It's vegan. Okay. We're gonna do the three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So we all know three teaspoons of um, three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. So okay. 
and then the half a teaspoon. Okay, so now we need a teaspoon of salt. pink Himalayan salt and a tablespoon of sugar. So I'm going to stick that in my bag. Okay, just so going to put that in there. And that's it for the dry ingredients. So now I'm going to be stirring this up, give it a nice little whisk. Okay, so you can see that. It just really just looked like normal flour. Can't even really tell it's apple. So now I have this bowl right here because I don't want anything, you know, my in my flour to clump up. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in one bowl and then I'm going to add it all at one time. So now I just need the one and a fourth cup of milk and we're going to use almond milk you can substitute any plant-based milk i think i spilled a little bit um you can substitute any plant-based milk for the whole milk or whatever type of dairy milk okay so now we're going to put in the three tablespoons of grapeseed oil in place of the three tablespoons of melted butter. Okay. So now we can add this flax egg. Now see how this egg, this thing turned out? I was about to say egg. See how this turned out? It's kind of slimy, like an actual egg. So we're going to add that in here with the other wet ingredients. Give it a nice little whisk. Be careful because of the size of this bowl. I'm going to go ahead and turn my pot on, my pan on, so that can be heated up. And now I'm going to add all of my ingredients. My, dry, my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. Mom, yes, baby. Can we get a kushala? Get a who? Can we get a croissant? A croissant? Yeah. <laughs> Can get a croissant? Okay, so because of how this is, it's kind of thick. You see that? It's kind of thick. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the milk to it. And this probably because I'm using these because my, um, my liquid measuring cup actually broke. gonna just add until it gets to the consistency I want it to be in. Okay. That's not too bad. So if you're using these kind of measuring cups, just go ahead and do um one and three fourth cups of um one and three fourth cups of milk. Okay, so now that I got this stared up, this actually really looked like just a regular pancake batter. Like, look at this. I want y'all to see this. Look at this. It looked just like your regular pancake batter. Who knew? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start cooking these up. I'm going to use this one-fourth 
um thing in here so it's not going to be very big the pancakes are going to be very big but this is just for you know for us to try and i have six beautiful children so they gonna want to try too okay so i'm gonna put a little bit of that in here My, and my brother gave me this cup. Yes, it is. Please. We gotta have my Earl Grey tea. We would have ate those. Best tea ever, y'all. Okay, so let's try one of these. So I got my fourth cup. Okay, nice little sizzle. Ooh, a little nice size pancake. Okay. So we'll see how they turn out. Okay. You smell good. Okay, so it's starting to get the little bubbles at the top. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. See the little bubbles starting to form and pop. mess with it too early okay so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and turn it over because I don't want y'all to be sitting here just watching this <laughs> so we'll be right so back. let's see that actually look pretty good so let's see Ooh, come on now holy schmackerels what is a schmackerels don't judge me <laughs> That look good. It look like a normal pancake. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, so now I got that all turned over and everything. I'm going to go ahead and, and fix the rest of these. And then we're going to come back. And I'm going to try them. So, stay tuned, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, this is what it looks like finishing just look like your regular pancakes made with flour you know look pretty good i think the next time i make these i'm just going to use the spray instead of using the grapeseed oil because it soaked it up pretty good. so here's the one i'm going to try which is the very first one that i made <laughs> so got maple syrup got my little almond milk just in case yeah Y'all need milk with pancakes, right? Okay, so let me try. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. It's good. Mm -hmm. Give me a butt. Oh, big head. You like it? What's up? It's good. It's good. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I say this right here. Definitely a win in my book. I think you guys should go out to Walmart, get this, and actually try the recipe on the back. It's actually really good. It's nice, soft, and fluffy it's like it's really good so i think you guys should try this so until the next video i read and react much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload follow me on social media at the vegan homeschooler 
Also, follow my other social media at royalty underscore crochet, where you can see all of my crochet items made totally cruelty free. No animals harmed in the making of these awesome, awesome products. Again, thank y'all so much for your support. I love y'all to the moon and back and have a blessed day. Peace.